Hey YouTube, check it out. I pulled up in the driveway today to find this strange box in my yard from Amazon. It's pretty badly damaged. Looks like it's been ripped open and retaped by someone along the way. The box is crushed, broken open, and again, has been retaped. And I was just thinking, what the heck did I order that's that big? So in the box, here's the packing material. It's a piece of paper. And sensitive optics. This is the uh, Athlon Talos spotting scope. Look how big the box is. It's huge. Sensitive optics were thrown in this box and they've been rattling around and, and impacting the inside of the box so badly that it bust open and broke the broke the outer box that is just complacency on Amazon's part I've been uh, providing Amazon with feedback <laughs> as if that's helpful for about a year now just pointing out the ongoing decline of service and thoughtfulness towards customers and there's a major concern here for Athlon the business who wants to sell you know a million of these items to their customers but uh, they've hired Amazon to do a job like this because the concern for the end user becomes so small that warehouse workers would make a decision like this this is just unacceptable we have sensitive optics that have been banged around inside this box to the point that it failed there is no way that I'm going to accept this item it's going back and it looks like I'll be buying a competitor item. So Athlon loses the profit and the customer has a bad experience and this looks really poorly on the Athlon brand. That's unfortunate because I know that Athlon put a lot of money into the development of this product, the marketing. They then hire Amazon to fulfill their orders, but then uh, it shows up in this. I mean, we could argue about uh, waste on the environment. This is a disservice to the end user, Athlon's customer, a disservice to Amazon investors, a disservice to so many people in the supply chain. And it just took one person to send this message that it doesn't matter, that I'm just packing a box and uh, this is what you're going to get because you know I'm having a bad day or whatever. So that's really, really sad, really unfortunate. So Athlon, I gave it a try, but uh, it's not gonna happen. Do I sound like an old guy who's just complaining? Yeah, maybe, but I'm not wrong. So remember folks, vote with your dollars. If you expect more, you've gotta communicate what you expect to businesses. Businesses exist for the purpose of profit. And people invest in these businesses because they seek profit also. And if the business isn't providing you with what you expect, you've got to communicate that and let them know what you do expect from them. Just remember, it is the business's job to meet your expectations as a consumer. And when you do complain, be nice about it. I mean, there's no need to be irate. There's no need to, uh, to be rude to other people. Just let them know, hey, this is unacceptable. You know, somebody you hired made a decision to do this, and uh, you know, let's give them the benefit of, of doubt. We don't know why they did this, but it was a bad decision. And so, uh, by us communicating to Amazon and letting them know this is unacceptable, Amazon will take notice and then fix this eventually, hopefully. And at a layer deeper, Athlon will also get on board. In this case, Athlon hires Amazon to do the fulfillment, as I said earlier. And so if Athlon is not selling things because Amazon is screwing up, Athlon is going to approach Amazon and say, look, we have a contractual agreement to fulfill these orders and to provide quality. Now, when it comes to optics, optics can be so sensitive to banging, to changes in environment. And so uh, this is one special case where we just can't say that this is okay. And to be explicitly clear, Amazon, this is unacceptable packaging for sensitive optics. This item costs over $100. You've put a piece of paper in a very large box. The box has been damaged. Now, boxes get damaged. That's the purpose of having multiple layers and padding and so on. 
when you forget the padding and you use an oversized box, that's where your problem arises. The expectation is that you put sufficient padding in a reasonably sized box. Um, ideally, two, three inches around the inside box with proper padding would have prevented this issue and Athlon would have made another sale. In this case, the person with the best outcome was the person who packed this box. Amazon loses revenue, Athlon loses revenue, the brand image is damaged, the customer is unhappy. This is a bad situation for most of the parties involved. Again, uh, the warehouse worker came out ahead. Hey, thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you like what you heard, just let me know. Uh, I'll do more consumer watchdog videos like this one if you find them helpful.